Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley where I am switching our bedroom to this room over here. Um, I think we'll eventually need to have like a bigger bed and uh, actually I guess this room isn't all that much bigger than the other room. It just looked that way. Well, good morning, Emily. Derek? Aww. Well, I'm going to have our bedroom in the middle there anyway. I think it's going to be nice. Isabel? Aww. Aww, that's lovely. Sebastian? Are we finally going to have a stormy day? Nope. Today's luck is very good. Okay. And um, no birthdays today. Okay. Let's see. Maddie? Oh, right. The, um, hatch is, um, or the trap door is, um, the thing that leads to Silly's room. Ah, that was nice of you, Gabriel. Also forgot to change the um kind of outside appearance of the farmhouse. I'm going to do that now because um I'd like to kind of cycle through all of these different styles here. Manor, I think it's one is one that we haven't yet seen. So, let's give it a little time to load. There we go. Hmm. Not my favorite. Well, we've got mail. Ah, one of the children's favorite snacks. Especially Eloise loves it. Okay. Owl Rice Crisp from Mia. And Kent sent us the recipe for a super meal. And uh, Zinia wants to meet us at the mines after dark. We'll see. I'd kind of like to go see Lexi today because, well, it's been a while since we've seen them. And I think we are at like two or three hearts with them, so that should be enough for a heart event. Mm. Good morning, everyone. And also the traveling merchant will be in town. We'll go see what she's got. 
for us today. Fish. There's a bit of row. Greenhouse. A couple of strawberries and some coffee. And star fruit. Nice. It'll be a while before we get to 200 star fruit. But that's okay. We've got plenty of stuff to do in the meantime. I also see some ancient fruit. Hmm, I guess that's that. Let's um, make some seeds. I think I'm going to make all of those ancient fruit into seeds and then I guess maybe the 15 non-starry star fruit. I'll have to remember to, to grab the star fruit out of the keg chest as well. I think there's some there. I'll put them somewhere. Um, well, I guess in the crops chest. We'll see. They are of different qualities, so they are going to take up quite a few slots, but... I, um, I really want to get to 200, so... Well, hopefully we'll have room. Put the non-starry coffee beans there too. The gold and iridium star ones go into here. So, um... Let's see, do I want to put them someplace else because it is for inventory or, well, chest slots. Um, let's see if we can take anything away from here. I don't think I need all that hay in the storage. And then maybe we could sell the sweet gem berry. I don't think we have any particular use for those anymore. We've already got the star fruit from the statue and we've already donated one of those to the uh, rare crops bundle. So yeah. But just in case, there's room here. And then that goes there, obviously. Right. And the hay. We'll see if there's room for this in our silos. But if not... I suppose we'll just sell it. <laughs> Two pieces of hay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to just sell it. Hmm. Can't put it there either. Well, of course, because it's not an animal product. No truffles, none that I can see at least. We'll have to um, increase our heart levels with our piggies. 
to start getting more truffles. Little by little. Anyway, who needs truffles when you've got mint? This is going to earn us quite a nice sum once again. We'll see how close we get to the 200,000 and uh, to being able to buy the furniture catalog. I think once I get the furniture catalog, I would probably like to redecorate the farmhouse like um, one room at a time. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to um, record the decoration process or if I'm just going to, you know, decorate at the start of some episode and uh, and push the record button only after I've done the decorating and then just show you the finished room. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just show you the finished room once I'm done decorating and uh, yeah, because it may not be all that interesting for you to have to sit through the entire process of me deciding how to decorate. Right. Uh, hello Marnie. No. Shane. I'm the only person Marnie can talk to about her relationship with Lewis. That's a bit sad. I wish Lewis wasn't so secretive. Oh, and uh, since we don't appear to be getting a whole lot of stormy days, I'm going to buy all the battery packs I can. And just to... well... To get a few more of them. Hello Jasper. D. Jacob. Hi. You lost the patient. No. Of course animals matter as well. Oh, Alex. Well, I mean, I wouldn't bet on it. A lot of people around here have seen some, uh, some not so great things. Your father wasn't a good guy. Half the time he was gone and the other half he'd drink all night and be nasty. And one day he just left. And then your mom got sick and passed away. And you've been living with your grandparents ever since? (coughs) 
Uh. Yeah, everybody has a bit of a sad story to tell. Their own kind of a sad story. Hello, Kent. And uh, while everybody is unique in their own way, well, I think other people would be able to understand Alex just based on the fact that they do have their own sad stories and, and dark times in the past. Oh, hello Rodney. You don't need to have gone through the exact same thing that another person has gone through in order to understand them. You just need to have had like a, a similar sort of experience, like in general. And uh, I bet a lot of people have had some uh, not so great experiences in their life. Some not so great people in their life. Some not so great times. Y you know what I mean. Uh, was it this cave? I guess it wasn't. This doesn't look familiar. Definitely don't remember a quarry full of monsters. I guess there's even more ore, like up there. Is this its own sort of uh, mine? Seems to be. We even have these crabs here and... Yeah, different kinds of ores and gems and... I need to come here more often and explore. I wonder... That's an interesting different kind of uh, bit of wall there. I wasn't able to get through it with my pickaxe, but I wonder if if there's some way. And then there's this weird crystal here as well. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get through. Oh, hello Lexi. Your plant is dead. Aww. Your mother makes things grow, but you haven't been able to. You water and sing. Ah, well, both of the uh, first options are true, aren't they? Yeah, the neighboring cave is a bit scary. I saw. A plant that grows in a cave. Okay. Aww. Well, maybe with practice you can be. We didn't get a quest for it. Only seven eggs. Surely we've got more. Oh, do we need to put them into our inventory for them to count? The uh, auto grabber just collecting them doesn't count. Okay. So I guess I'll have to grab them 
from the auto grabber some time to see how many we've got. Um, Lexi? There you are. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I promise I won't stay away as long this time. I've been terribly preoccupied with other stuff. I should definitely explore these caves more and, uh, and visit Lexi more often. But thing is, I do also need iron. And it seemed like that cave over there was pretty random. Oh right, this is Mateo's home. Hmm. So yeah, it seemed like that cave there was pretty random with um what kinds of stuff spawned there. Let's go see about the uh, haunted house. Is there anything new there now? Now that Lavril and Void have been living here for a while. I guess nothing new yet, maybe? Oh, I can't give you any tea. Sorry that I didn't bring any cookies. Hmm. Well, there doesn't seem to be anybody else here. So yeah, I need some iron. So I think um, I'd like to go to the regular Pelican Town mines for that. But one of these days, maybe even tomorrow, I'll need to remember to explore the uh, East Scarp mine, or whatever it was in that cave, a little more. Now this is very, very handy, but um, I'd like to be able to access that mine card from here as well. And I don't think I am able to do that. Lavriel? Uh, you think Dusty's cute? Oh, okay. To each their own, I guess. I mean, I'm not a dog person anyway, so I guess I wouldn't be one to, to uh, ask whether any particular dog is cute or not, anyway. Elliot? And I do agree with Haley that Sterling is pretty trashy. But um, I can see why Haley would be attracted to Sterling also. I mean, she likes Alex, and somehow Sterling really reminds me of Alex. So, I guess, you know, Haley being attracted to him is um, understandable to me in that way. A beautiful person with fluffy red fur and green hair. Interesting. I wonder if I'm going to see this uh, spirit of the mountain at Richside Village at some point. Because that'd be super interesting. Gunther, hello. You feel more comfortable hanging out with the books than with people. 
Well, um, I'm sort of kind of the same way, actually. Right. Let's get some things out of our inventory to make a little room. And, uh, then we'll go hopefully find us some more iron ore. I guess maybe that's enough. Oh. Hmm. I once again forgot to go to the museum to donate that artifact. One of these days I'm going to remember to do it. One of these days. Oh, secret note. Let's read. Minus diary, winter 20th, year 504. Life has started to show its share of difficulty. The cold is like nothing I've ever encountered before. No crops can grow in this brutal cold. Except for those snow yams. We're barely getting by on fishing. I'm starting to fear what will happen to this town. Some of the townsfolk are gonna trek up the mountains. Folk in town have been talking about that bright star in the sky. Some of the more superstitious folks have been saying that, um... That it brings good luck and we're blessed to see it. But I wonder if we're blessed or cursed to be here. We lost some people to the cold these past few days. I just hope we don't lose any more. The forage team just got back and they were at least able to find some food. Maybe our luck will change. Winter shouldn't last too much longer. So we just gotta hold on until spring comes. Aww, you even gave a bit of your ration to the little turtle in town. Aww. I wonder if it was Torts. I mean, Torts is very old. A miracle happened. You found your yard filled with them snow yams. And the mariners said their fishing lines were filled as well. Even one of the stars down in the Alden's house turned into this purple fruit. No. That was a nice little Christmas miracle story. Right. Let's go see if there's any iron here for us. There's some kind of a gemstone. Emerald. Well. Seeds and... Um, Cave carrot. Uh huh. Stairs. We'll just run through here quickly. Get the uh, monsters and. Nope. No iron here either. What about here? I see a couple of iron spawns. Not a whole lot of iron, even though it's a very good luck 
day. <laughs> and an infested floor. Wow, what was that all about? This is pretty bad luck for a very good luck day. But oh well, I guess good luck on a very good luck day isn't really guaranteed. It's just more likely. Nine twenty. We've got a little bit of time to look for iron. Like a uh, two, three in game hours. No iron on this floor either. Hmm. A little bit. Over here. And we already found the stairs, that's nice. Very little iron though. Prospector senses are tingling. Oh. Apparently it would have been that one. Well... Mm. Inventory full. Mine loot. Oh right! We can fit much more into here if... We move the rings. Into the dresser. I'll have to try and remember to do that. Let's see. Oh, I'm stuck. Well, I know how to fix that. There we go. Not stuck anymore. bit of iron. Mm, and a little more. I think we're prob probably not going to find too much more of it though because we'll have to go home really soon. Well, a little bit is better than nothing. We'll get that one and then go home. Don't want to risk passing out. Hello, Brile. You feel like you've involved yourself with too much stuff. Affiliate with the police. A bunch of politicians as clients for your security business. That does sound like a lot. Uh, tea? Nah. Well, let's go home. Oh, prehistoric vertebra. Yeah, I think maybe we should um, adventure in the East Scarp Caves a little more tomorrow. I think it'll be interesting. Hmm. 
those go in there and then we've got forage. And the battery and also foodstuffs. And yeah, let's put the battery away as well. We've got 14. And let's get to bed. Oh, <laughs> this way to bed. Good night, everyone. Level 9 mining and level 1 combat. And 22,000. Nice. Okay, Saturday. Well, in the next episode we'll of course have to see about the birthday. It was somebody's birthday. But um, I think after we've done that, um, given the birthday person their gift, we'll go and explore those East Scarp Caves a little further. Oh, and if I remember, I need to go to the mines after dark to see Zinnia's event. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please do leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.